Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the studio. You're joining me for another episode of Cooking in the Studio. We have a nice, beautiful one for you today. We are making a nice pan sear chicken thighs uh, nan wrap with a beautiful tahini red pepper sauce. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. That is our next goal. Um, if you could hit that like, subscribe button, and comment and share with your family and friends, we are truly appreciate it here at the studio. Um, we are dedicated to bringing you high quality recipe and other content. Um, we are catering to you and your liking. So let us know if you need to have a discussion with us consider joining our discord group we're always down there and our other social media groups that's linked in our our page you can just check that out shout us out we are always there providing our feedback and communicating with you guys the community so let us know and let's get into this beautiful recipe right off the bat we're starting with our marinade for our chicken thighs we're starting off with a few tablespoons about two tablespoons of uh, olive oil Immediately after that, we're going to give it a little bit of mix and then we're going to season it with a little bit of salt, um, preferably Himalayan salt, but if you can use whatever, uh, a little ground black pepper on top of that, and you're going to immediately give it a nice little mix as well. Add a few teaspoons of cumin. Add a few teaspoons of cayenne pepper as well. Then you can add about, you know, two to three teaspoons of paprika, preferably um, smoked paprika, but if you don't have smoked paprika, you can just use regular paprika or sweet paprika. Now, after that, you want to give it a nice toss to incorporate all your spices. Add in your chopped garlic. Add about one to two tablespoons of tomato paste. Add in your lemon juice. Now you want to add about a cup of plain whole milk yogurt. Now that all your ingredients are in the bowl, you just want to give this a nice mix to incorporate all the flavors, all the textures, and all beautifulness. All right. Uh, we're gonna add some chopped mint. Uh, I'm just gonna tear it apart just as you see me doing in the video. I'm gonna toss that in there, mix that up. We're gonna wrap it up nicely and tight and we're gonna leave it in the fridge to marinate until we are ready to cook our chicken thighs. All right, we're gonna start off that beautiful tahini roasted red pepper sauce we were talking about earlier in the video. We're gonna start off with two large roasted red bell peppers. Of course, we're gonna add that into our blender because we're gonna puree everything that we're doing for the sauce. You wanna add in about three to four cloves of garlic. Then you want to add a couple of teaspoons of salt and pepper, you know, just to taste, get that taste bud going. Because we're going to adjust the taste uh, afterwards that we blend everything up. So you just want a little bit to start with. Next, you're going to add some, some paprika. Now, you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know, I like my smoked paprika. But if you don't have smoked paprika or sweet paprika, just use what you got. Next, we're gonna throw in some teaspoons of cumin. Uh, the recipe and the measurements gonna be down in the details, so if you wanna make it yourself or, or do a follow along, check it out. Next, you wanna add a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. You know, we prefer brown sugar over white sugar any day. It's just healthier. Next, I got some organic uh, tahini paste right here. You want to add in about, I would say, half a cup to a cup of that into your blender as well. Mm -hmm. 
Next, you want to add in about half a cup of uh, room temperature water into your blender. Now, for some reason, if you do not have a blender at home, just hit us up in the comments or on our Discord and we will definitely give you alternative ways how to do this sauce without a blender. Next, we're throwing in two tablespoons of lemon juice. Maybe a little bit more, but for flavor. And we're gonna toss in a couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar because I'm a madman and I can do it, all right? So yeah, that's your all your ingredients in your blender right here. We're gonna blend that up very nicely and get a nice sauce consistency. And after that, you're just gonna pour it out in a jar or something like a container that you can keep it in in the fridge until you are ready to assemble your chicken wrap. Let's go. One thing I forgot to tell you, if your sauce is too thick, you can add a little bit more water um, to thin that out. And now if your sauce is too thin, you can add a little bit more tahini sauce to bulk that back up. And of, of course, uh, adjust your seasoning with a little bit of salt and pepper in the end and get that to exactly how you like it. Next for my process of frying up our chicken, I'm starting off with some peanut oil in a pan at medium heat on my stove. We're gonna get our chicken out the fridge. We're gonna unwrap that. We're gonna wait till your oil heats up to the, the right temperature and then a little bit smoky and you're gonna add in your chicken one batch at a time because you don't wanna add everything together. If you add everything together, it's gonna cool down your pan and you're not gonna end up frying your chicken, well, getting a nice sear on your chicken. You, all you're gonna do is be boiling your chicken out. So you wanna add it batch at a time. Now this recipe is called for um, you grilling your astro chicken on a proper grill. But since we're doing this at home and most of you don't have a grill in your apartment or something like that, by the way, hide your, um, your fire alarm. <laughs> um, we're gonna just do this on a low medium heat so we can get a nice even cook through on your chicken from both sides. So I would say probably like five, four to five minutes each side and you should, your ch chicken should be thin enough to cook it all the way through. Um, if you have, obviously if you have a thicker cut of ch uh, chicken, you wanna, you can either sear it on both sides and put it on a rack and finish it in the oven. You could do it that way or you could just um, slow sear it on both sides until it's cooked all the way through. But if you have a grill, you know what I mean? Go all out. Go all out. All right, now for the fun time. We're gonna assemble our wrap. Uh, we have some warm naan bread in the oven, you know, just to warm it up a little bit because warm naan bread is just amazing of course we hopped in for the store-bought naan bread but if you truly want to see a naan bread recipe hit us up in the comments hit us up on our discord or our social media ask for that recipe and we could definitely get one on here for you guys because um, homemade naan bread is always beautiful we're starting off with our of course our sauce base and we're going to do a little bit of um tiered lettuce on top as well we're using romaine lettuce now we're adding our protein on top of our lettuce um, our chicken of course Immediately followed by our cherry tomatoes and right after that we are going to add our diced red onions. Now we have some beautiful fresh sliced um, cucumbers. Then we're gonna gradually add some torn mint on top of each of our wraps. Mm -hmm. 
And all that's left to do is to add our sauce and fold it up and you've got this beautiful seared chicken wrap with a beautiful tahini roasted red pepper sauce. Uh, I hope you guys get to try this one. I'm just gonna fold it up and uh, throw a little umbrella in there because you know, as I said, I'm a madman. Now I'm just gonna complement it with a nice little salad on the side. Now you can add whatever side you want. With that being said, ladies and gents, I'll leave you with this recipe. We're on our grind to 10,000 subscribers. We love you, support us, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.